Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're back in chat, LLM teams, and yes, they have shipped again. Today, I wanna to talk to you about their new functionality, Root LLM. Now, for those of you that don't know, Root LLM basically is a traffic controller for AI queries. And as you're no doubt aware, the large language models, they all vary in terms of capability, cost, how fast they respond. Some take a long time like O1 Preview and they do lots of chain of thought reasoning. Some just zip out like O1 Mini, for example. Large context windows like Gemini 1.5 Pro and then smaller context windows, etc. It doesn't really matter. What matters is, is Root LLM will look at your prompt, it will look at your query, and then it will direct it to the right large language model to give you the best possible answer. And I should mention here that it improves over time. So if the more information, the more data it gets, the better it'll know your preferences and the better it will get over time. So just keep that in mind. So with that out of the way now, let's dig into Root LLM and take a look at a few quick examples here. All right, once you've logged in, head up to the top here and then click on this down arrow. Right now it defaults to GPT-4 Omni, but I'm gonna go ahead and down arrow and select Root LLM. Once we do that, well, air traffic control kicks in and now we're gonna start routing the planes and making sure everything's going to the right place. So let's start off with a very simple prompt and we're doing this deliberately because if we type in something like simple, like what is the capital of France? I would expect this not to go to the brand new O1 preview with its fancy reasoning and chain of thought and all that good stuff. Okay, good, it selected GPT-4 Omni and it came back in, sec in split seconds. It just did it instantly. That's perfect. It doesn't automatically select O1 Preview. Do keep in mind though, if you wanted to use O1 Preview for this, you could, or O1 Mini or GPT-4 O Mini, all of these are there, but again, we let it select the correct one based on the query. Let's go now and start looking at a little bit more complicated stuff and see what model it selects. All right, here we go. So we've got a blank slate again. Here we are in Route LLM. And if you ever wanna get rid of, you know, the stuff that you were working on before, you can always just click on this button here and you can go back to it or alternatively, like I like to do, I just click on new chat and we start from scratch. Root LLM is selected. I'm gonna copy and paste in a very complicated coding specific prompt and it's not a simple one. There's quite a bit going on here. I'll give you the Coles Notes version here. You're a highly experienced programmer. You're skilled in multiple language. Here's a code snippet written in source language. Convert it to target language. So we're going into multiple languages here and then we want the functionality to remain intact. I'm gonna put the entire uh, prompt in the description below so you guys can copy it verbatim if you want to. But in a nutshell, it's basically the source language is Python, the target language is JavaScript, and we're converting a Python function for calculating the Fibonacci sequence into JavaScript. And then there's just a couple of notes here on what I'm hoping for. Again, the whole thing is put in the description below, but that's not really the point. The point is, is before I hit enter, we know, or you should know, or you probably know that Sonnet 3.5 and the new OpenAI models, the O1 Preview and the O1 Mini, are generally considered the best at coding. So if I hit enter, I do not expect it to select Llama 3.1 or anything like that. I expect it to select one of those three models, probably Sonnet 3.5. So let's go ahead and click on the button there. It's gonna hit enter, and there we go. It's routing to Claude Sonnet 3.5. Claude Sonnet 3.5, for those of you that aren't aware, it has a 200,000 token input window, so it's got a big context window, and it is incredibly fast, and it is fantastic at iterating and cooking up and fixing bugs. It's not as good at reasoning in terms of like telling you what it's doing and why it's doing it, but it's very fast and it's very effective and it does well. So there we go. It selected Claude Sonnet 3.5. That's what I would have expected. That was one of three that it could have went with, in my opinion. And look at that, we've got an excellent response here. In fact, we've got all of the code here. We can click on copy if we want to, and it's all well explained. So there we go. Now let's try one more thing where it takes a look at like, you know, complex reasoning. And I think you know where we're gonna be going with this one. All right, so let's try a third one here. So the first one, it went to four Omni. It was a very simple question. What's the capital of France? The second one was a complicated coding question and it selected Claude Sonnet 3.5, a good choice. Here's another one here, write a poem with multiple strict constraints. So it's kind of weird, a 
six-line poem about squirrels playing koalas at soccer. Maybe we don't want to play soccer. Let's do football. Let's do a different sport. Whatever, something like that. And then here are the constraints. The last word must end with the letter I. The second word must begin with the letter U. The second to last word must be eucalyptus. <laughs> Having some fun here. This is very creative. This isn't just, you know, hey, simple question here. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Let's see what it selects and what it does here. Okay, look at that here. It routed it to 01 Mini and it gave us a poem in like half a second maybe less. Squirrels in the meadow play, leaping high where branches away. I, they swiftly, you know, okay. All right, so this is a, this is about squirrels and koalas playing football. I'm a poet, what can I say? There's three really good examples, and you know what? Let's just do one last thing I wanna show you. Create an image of a French bulldog. Now we're in root LLM, and let's see what happens here. This is a little different here because we're creating an image, so it's rooting it to GPT-4 Omni, which is fine, but watch what happens next. I'll come back when this is done and show you something really, really cool. All right, so here we go. It created this image for me, so let's take a look here. It says, routing to GPT-4 O or 4 Omni, that's fine, but it understood that I was looking to create this image and it sent it to be created by Flux1 Pro, their AI image generator. Now. Flux1 Pro, for those of you that don't know, is possibly the best AI image generator on the market right now. Some people say Midjourney, some say Flux1 Pro, some people, you know, depends. But it is top shelf stuff and Root LLM knew where to send it. So this is amazing stuff. Also, last but not least, if I click on new chat and I put a prompt in and I want to use, let's say I want to use 01 Preview, I don't want it to go to Claude Sonnet, just remember, you can always just drop down and select the one you want. So if you want to use 01 Mini, 01 Preview, etc., just select it and you can always override Root LLM and just do what you want. So there you go, guys. Root LLM is amazing. It's now inside Chat LLM Teams. They're delivering every week. You got to give it a look. Links in the description below. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.